Hello everyone, this is ASMR if today welcoming you to my new real estate tutorial. Today I'll show you how to make logo in the easiest way. Uh, I have done a logo, just designed this logo for the music logo and uh, here I use the gradient color and the font which is the free font and the background which is the white background. This logo is too much simple to make it. So let's see how to make it. Okay, let's start. Okay, at first go to the file and take a new. Uh, I'll take a new canvas or artboard which is the uh, custom artboard uh, 2560 and 1440. 2560 and 1440. The color is a uh, CMYK color. Okay, or you can make it RGB, whatever you want. If you want to go to the so print out, you have to make it the CMYK mode or if you want to publish it in a, in a website then you have to make it just rgb color mode and hit the create button you will get a new white artboard or the background whatever you can tell okay then you have to just turn on the grid which is like that the press control or command the inverted comma the grid line will appear in your screen and then after that go to the ellipse tool and pick a center and draw a circle uh, I'm just drawing a big circle like that okay and turning off the fill color and keeping the stroke color okay and then just I'll adjust with the grid like that actually in a all the sides I'm just maintaining the grid okay that's good in this area I will make like that okay that's good and after that just select this one press ctrl C and ctrl F C for copy and F, F ctrl F for the forward paste and I'm just making it like that in this grid actually in this grid I'm just making it after that I'll make it uh, like um, a line with that which is cut by the shape builders tool and uh, other things okay I'm taking a line or you can use a pen tool for this whatever you want just maintain the line here is the anchor point and just line like that uh, you should uh, use a pen tool it will help you out more okay I'm just taking the pen tool and picking up the anchor point from here and I'm just maintaining the line which is just adjust with the circle okay you have to find it out like that that's good and another anchor point like that press the skip button it will go and after that just press the alter button and you can make copy of this yes like that okay uh, in this portion you are just getting like that or you can just fix just uh, with the inner circle which is like that you have to fix it out and you'll get the proper shape over there okay just select all the things go to the shape builders tool here and just make a shape okay after that you have to delete these things the unnecessary things like that okay and you are getting a logo like that after that uh, I'll make uh, the gradient and turning off the grid lines you no need to add the grid lines now okay and going to the gradient options just selecting a gradient on the by default but uh, you have to turn off the stroke color okay and from that I'm just picking up the color which is the dark orange and I'm just another gradient side I'm picking up the this color or you can customize this color selecting the blue and going to the another options and from this panel going to the CMYK color and I'm making it dark okay that's good and you can adjust the color and make the uh, color just uh, angle a uh, gradient angle is 90 or 
if you want to keep the blue color in a downside you have to make it the minus 90 minutes okay that's good and you can adjust this one select this one and you can adjust this one like that okay that's good you're getting like that and if you want to make it a full middle alignment you have to just select this subject and after that here is the perspective option and with the artboard get the options and make it in a middle okay after that go to the text tool and just write down your name or i'm using the lorem ipsum that's good and using the font that is the nexa here is the nexa font and i'm giving the lorem that's a demo text like uh, nexa bold okay and ipsum is the lighter and i'm making it like the all caps and making it in a center okay after that just create outline before that one thing uh, you can just delete the gaps between or space between the two sentence two word actually okay after that just press the right button and create outline and select these two things and make the alignment in a middle okay now if you not getting the alignment option over there you have to go to the window and align you'll get the window over there in a the middle okay after that I'm getting uh, just I'm just adding another tagline of the um, for this logo I'm just making it like that and making the 60 or the 48 is good and giving the tagline okay and i'm making just it like the 500 space between the letters okay that's good and making it in a middle after that just creating outline this one and making the color that is the ash color and I'm selecting these things and press the I from the keyboard and you'll get the eye picker tool and just select here you'll get the gradient in the letter also but you have to just make it uh, adjust press ctrl G for the gradient adjustment and press the shift button and just drag over the upper side to down side okay you can adjust them okay that's good and all the things you have to make in a middle proper middle alignment just go to the alignment and just make it middle and make these three things in a group press ctrl G and just select with the output Okay. if you get unnecessary things in the uh, side of your uh, logo suppose here is a line unnecessary things ungroup all the things and press ctrl y you will get the outline options and just select these unnecessary things and press the delete button press y and you will get back in main window a colorful window okay this one is the tutorial of today's tutorial actually and hope that you learned a lot from this tutorial actually this one is for the beginner or, or advanced designer can use these techniques okay uh, thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question or query please do comment on my video comment section and till the next video i may say when we signing out before that don't forget to subscribe my channel and share with your friend thank you so much